What in the world did Xtool just do? This is the new F2, a 15 watt blue diode and a five watt infrared Galvo laser. Dang, <laughs> what in the world? You see how fast that was? I mean, why in the world? Why, why would they do this? And I'll tell you why, because they are not going to be outdone. But do you really need this? Over the previous Xtool F1, my beloved cherished little laser I have used so much. Almost there, almost there. 29 seconds. And look at how beautiful that is. Come on now, I love this. While this is not my main in-depth review, this will be my first look video. I'm gonna run through the different features of this machine, show you some engravings, even though I was told not to, because I do what I want to on this channel. And yeah, we're just gonna take a look at it. Just get a look at that. Just look at it. Watch out towards the end, because I'm gonna show you guys how to save the most money. And speaking of money, let's address the elephant in the room. I have affiliate links below, and that makes me a influencer and you can't trust those guys right because they lie they get paid to say nice things well let me tell you guys that's the furthest thing from the truth and i promise to bring you an unbiased look if i like or dislike something i will tell you guys so with that being said i just feel like you guys need to see my heart here so feature wise let's get into this we have up to 6,000 millimeters of a second speed that is an increase over the 4,000 of the regular f1 xtol also gave us a 50 megapixel camera which may be a little bit overkill but the clarity and detail are absolutely insane on this and speaking of the camera i will cover this more in my in-depth review but if i look at my influencer guy they sent me they are talking about how this is in their opinion the easiest to use i can just put something on the material bed and just hit go a lot things are getting more simple the first thing we are going to do is to calibrate this is super simple guys wow now if you look on the computer right here you can see we are barely off alignment so i'm going to click on auto alignment it's going to align perfectly and calibration is done. We're gonna keep on with the tutorial here and it wants to do the welcome project. So it has a little video right here for the first project. We've already done this. Hit start. 39 seconds and look at this. Just get a look at that. I could have actually sped this up. The detail is pretty dang crisp. Moving on to power, Extol did something crazy. We now have 15 watts of blue diode versus 10 watts of blue diode with the F1 and five watts of infrared versus two watts of infrared with the old F1. So why the more power? Here is where I'm consolidating this to one point. Extol wanted a one and done machine, do it all when you're on the road. If you're at a craft fair, if you're at some type of event, they wanted something more powerful and fast enough that you could make on site. Now, if I were to bring my F1 Ultra or F2 Ultra, of course, those are going to be faster and do more, but not everyone has that budget. And this is like really portable. I mean, I can just take this anywhere right now if I don't tear something up. It's the base plate. And with all this power, we have some interesting specs. Xtool is saying that we can cut up to 15 millimeters basswood and 12 millimeters acrylic. And just to give you guys a quick comparison, if I were to do this on the F1, it would be eight millimeters of basswood and six millimeters of acrylic. You guys know I had to do it. I love these aluminum wallets. I am going to snap this right into my 3D printed aluminum wallet holder. I'm gonna twist the knob on the side right here. And when I do, watch what happens. That little dot here moves. We wanna make sure that they are overlapped. If we look here, we have a high definition picture of this wallet. Now, if we go down here, we have some framing options. So if I click that rectangle and I hit framing, Look at what happens. Now I'm guessing on the power, we are going to go at 100% power, 3000 millimeters a second, and let's see what happens. Wow. Look at how fast this is. 
So cool, guys. So cool. Wow. Almost there. Almost there. 29 seconds. And look at how beautiful that is. My gosh. Come on now. I love this. If I'm being honest, I did hit this a little sooner. This would have been about 28 seconds here. And I sell these for $45, guys. So $45 and 28 seconds. A lot of you people are gonna be like, Matt, you're lying. I'm not, I've sold a ton of these. Look at that. I'm just so dang excited. Tell me how it gets any better. I dare you. Just put it below because it doesn't. That's amazing. So if we were to make a quick comparison between the F2 and the F1, aesthetic wise, obviously, orange and green, which happens to be my favorite colors. Engraving area, the absolute same. As far as the weight, 10.1 pounds on the F1 and 10.5 pounds on the F2. As I said earlier, we are moving up from 4,000 millimeters a second. Still pretty fast, but compared to 6,000 millimeters a second on the F2, you are going to notice a definite speed increase. If you do the right math, it's actually about 50% faster on some engraving jobs, Extol is saying. I started my camera late, but look at this. 100% power, 2,000 millimeters a second speed, and look at that. Just look at it. Wow. This took a little over a minute. Looky there, guys. Absolutely terrific. I could have ran this a little bit slower and got this a tad bit cleaner right here. That's no problem because this was all a guessing game. I mean, come on. A little over a minute to complete these. And I could probably sell this 30, 40, and if you're bougie, $50. I mean, come on. This thing is just like working. One click and it's done. Another cool thing to mention, if my camera can pick this up, is the rulers that Xtol added to the chassis of the body on both sides. That way, if the head is raised up, you can see how many inches you are at. Now, something I am a sucker for, aesthetic-wise, is badging. So if I turn both of these machines, you can see on the new F2, we have a little part right here with our ports that says F2. And this is a different color. It has this gloss material. Now, if you bounce over here to the F1, it doesn't have anything. Obviously, some people won't care about this, but you find this in cars, trucks, and vans when you buy them. The higher trim level you go, you find badging. It's like its own identity. I forgot to mention, this does have a smoke purifier that you can get with it. It's about the same size and it's really light. So if you're on the road at the craft fair, arts market, you most definitely need one of these to keep all that smoke and stuff from getting around people. And, and nothing fancy here. It just does what it needs to do. I just figured I'd throw this in there. My dad wanted me to engrave this pocket knife he got at Walmart. This is what the outline option looks like. Super fast laser running across there. Let's see here. Okay, I was late and I could have done that in about two seconds if I would have sped it up. Dang, what in the world? You see how fast that was? Come on, looky there. Okay, well, it's definitely doing its job. The timer is wrong. This actually engraved and cut out in three minutes and 14 seconds. But what I'm looking for here is just clean edges. And that 15 watts of diode is just doing a great job. And that was only at 90% power on the cutout. 90% power and six millimeters a second speed. Okay, guys, first impressions off the cuff, live for the camera. How do I feel about the F2 just from the small projects that I did? Number one, it's fast. Number two, it's powerful. Those are the obvious things, right? But if we are to combine those together, I really feel that the F2 is a very, very capable punch above its weight machine. Can I just like stick all that into one sentence there? I want to do some extended testing to really see and to make sure I'm not missing anything, but the camera placement accuracy, 
the ease of use. And take this flask, for example, a little over one minute to do that. And I just drop the design on there and I actually guessed on the settings. I think this gives a lot of newcomers confidence to use this machine because I mean, it's solid. It does what it needs to do. I'm not going to criticize it right now because I haven't found anything. And this first look is looking really promising. Oh, and by the way, a quick marketing tip. I mean, just look at this blue combo. What dude or woman wouldn't like this? I mean, $10 at Walmart and this has D2 steel. Don't get me nerding out on you on stills, but you won't find a better $10 knife that you can engrave and the markup and this wallet. I mean, sell as a combo. I buy these in bulk. So I'm excited. I mean, this just looks so cool and this will be going to my dad. Let's look at some pricing guys. Right now, Xtool is running a, you know what they're doing, a sale because it's the pre-launch period, right? Right now you can get $200 off with a deposit of $20. That brings the price to $12.99. The regular price is $14.99, so we're getting the $200 off. All the deposit users can join the final payment live draw using their order number with a chance to win free orders and a grand prize. So guys, there's other chances to win one of these for free and other prizes out the door. And that's pretty cool. So to do a recap, we have a $20 deposit and we get $200 off. So if you guys have been needing something portable for shows that has enough power and can move faster, well, I think this is going to fit the bill. And I know I'm going to get some hate saying this, but this is probably the easiest x -tool laser that I have used. And I say that with every video, but they keep getting better. I'm liking it. I'm liking it more. Like I said, my baby back here. It's not getting any love. Anyway, guys, if you go through my links, you will save the most money as possible, and I will try to have the best price year around. So if you do go with Xtool, going through my links does support the channel at no extra cost to you, and I can't thank you guys enough. This is how I can stay up late nights and uh, make it work, trying to bring you guys a competent review. So going through my links and thinking of me truly means a lot. I will post any current promo codes throughout the year that will save you guys the most money. So what do you guys think? Is it a pass or is it a go? I mean, honestly, it's hard not to like. I mean, it's just so cool. If you guys have any questions, post them below and I will do my best to answer them. And I can't thank you guys enough for watching. I will see you in the main review. Take care.